Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Palantir announces its third newest contract this week, December 2022. Their first contract was a five years, $443 million deal with the CDC. Second contract was with the Tampa General Bay Hospital. Third deal is right here, Palantir and Crisis24, a Garter World company, announced a new partnership to revolutionize security and risk management for the 21st century. Now, the month of November was relatively light in terms of deals for Palantir. We had a couple here and there, but overall it was pretty quiet. September and October was pretty explosive with over $800 million of governmental contracts. And we're starting off December pretty hot with the third newest contract. And uh, just a couple of days ago, in the first week of December, we had the Lockheed Martin contract and a 10-year partnership with the Cleveland Clinic. So let's get into what Crisis24 is. I've never heard of this uh, company before. I uh, read a little bit about them this morning, and let's actually get into what they do. Palantir Technologies partners with Crisis24, a guard world company to transform security and risk management with the power of AI. This is a multi-million dollar long-term strategic partnership to help reshape security and risk management by leveraging, by leveraging critical information to provide clients with innovative solutions, data-driven insights, and results-oriented decision-making that meet their everyday challenges. So already, that's sort of the basic part of every press release that uh, happens when a company partners with Palantir. Innovative solutions, data-driven insights, and better challenges, better questions and answers to challenges based upon the data that they're going to be able to leverage through Pounder Foundry. In a dynamic and interconnected world, effective risk mitigation relies on being able to bring together and comprehend data about global events. Leveraging Crisis 24's unparalleled expertise and depth of knowledge in crisis management and intelligence, Pounder's Foundry operating system will enable users to identify critical trends and provide comprehensive analysis of emerging risks around the world, as well as develop new offerings for the public and private sectors. By providing the ability to manage the full scale and complexity of their data, Pounder's Foundry software will help Crisis 24 to deliver enhanced analytics and insights on topics such as crime, terrorism, health, transportation, and geopolitics, which makes a lot of sense given what Palantir has been able to do with the Russia-Ukraine situation over the past eight months. AI-driven insights combined with human intelligence will identify risk trends as they will arise and allow Crisis24 to deliver even more actionable, tailored information to its clients. With an improved ability to understand the threat and landscape and delivered analysis of Foundry, Crisis24 will be able to improve resiliency for the world's most influential people, disruptive vans, and prominent organizations. So let's actually go to the website for crisis 24 and understand what they do uh from, from sort of a basic first look it, it it feels like they are a consulting firm and they're a particular risk mitigation consulting firm if you go to any type of bank one of the divisions inside of those banks that employ millions of or hundreds of thousands of people millions probably worldwide is risk mitigation you've got risk mitigation in the software space risk mitigation from the financial space all these people that work for institutions to try to make sure that if there's some type of money laundering happening in some part of the world and bank signals are going off and like why did this person just take out two hundred thousand dollars from an atm like that sends red flags Flags, and there's a lot of data and pattern matching when you see those red flags to try to be able to make sure what's actually happening. So Crisis24 works with the world's most influential people, disruptive brands, and prominent organizations to, I guess, get rid of these risks or mitigate them from happening in the first place. Essentially manage when they do. A couple of things they offer. Risk intelligence. Our intelligence experts pair extensive experience with our powerful AI technology and always on global operations. Embedded intelligence. Get highly skilled, dedicated professional support focusing on analyzing potential threats that may impact your people, assets, or organization. Travel risk management. Security and medical assistance. Crisis response. Crisis and security consulting. Global protective solutions. And training. It's so crazy how big the world is because like I've never heard of Crisis24, but apparently they're a pretty big company. I was also looking um, in another part of their website and they have offices in Singapore. They have offices in New York, offices in uh, Dubai, South Africa, Montreal, London, Paris, Germany, Florida. I mean, like it's a pretty global firm that works with a lot of different clients, which makes sense why they're working with Palantir in the first place. Uh, Every organization must be able to understand, anticipate, and react effectively to risks as they evolve, said Alex Karp, CEO of Palantir. This requires leveraging the massive amount of relevant data out there and distilling it down to usable insights. And we are proud to partner with industry leader Crisis24 and parent company Garter World on this challenge. Uh, Stephen Cratier, the founder and CEO of Garter World, says, This strategic partnership is a paradigm shift in the delivery of security risk intelligence. It will allow Crisis24 to conquer new frontiers as the most powerful and advanced source of risk intelligence and analytics in the world. We are privileged to partner with Palantir, a world-renowned software and AI powerhouse, as a strategic growth ally to maximize Crisis24's fully service-integrated risk solutions. More importantly, we are bringing together two entrepreneurial companies who are leading in their fields to uniquely leverage the power of man and machine. A couple points of analysis on this that I got when I sort of read this press release this morning. Number one, again, proves my investment thesis. I say this every time we get a Palantir contract, but it constantly reinforces my investment thesis. You've got Palantir working with the United States DOD, 
getting IL-6 security clearance. You've got Palantir working with a company like Hertz to make sure they understand their fleet of vehicles. You've got Palantir working with the Tampa Bay Hospital to have more effective academic research and staffing costs. And then you've got Palantir working with Crisis 24. One of the big reasons I believe that Palantir can be a winner over the next decade is because every single institution, government, nonprofit, company, consulting firm for risk mitigation and cybersecurity intelligence that I didn't even know was really a thing, but apparently it's very much a thing could use Palantir's Foundry operating system, could use Palantir's Apollo system, could use a multiplicity of different services that Palantir offers. And that to me screams scale. It screams execution risk in terms of them being able to execute on getting that scale, but it absolutely screams scale. You don't think of YouTube as just one video. You think of YouTube as the entire world could use YouTube to upload their videos, which means YouTube becomes a very, very beautiful and important and powerful product at the end of the day. When I think of Palantir, I think every institution in the world could ultimately use their product. The second piece of analysis here is uh, they're transforming security and risk management with the power of AI. We got a report about two months ago, and that showed up in the earnings uh, shareholder letter that came out in November, that Palantir was the number one leader in AI-based revenue, even ahead of Microsoft in terms of the services they provide for the year of 2021 into 2022, which is pretty phenomenal to understand that, right? It means their level of artificial intelligence that they're implementing within the clients, within the client use cases for products and services they sell is beyond any other company. It doesn't mean the technology is beyond every other company, even though that kind of speaks to the fact that it is if they're selling more of it, but it means they've done the most revenue based upon that product with uh, specific integration of AI. So the reason it seems like Crisis 24 picked Palantir and not a company like Datadog or a company like Snowflake or a company like Microsoft is because of a specific nuanced use case around Foundry at the intersection of AI. As they say, in a dynamic and interconnected world, effective risk mitigation relies on being able to bring together and comprehend data about global events, put all that data and critical information in one place, and then make sense of it by leveraging the technology you're running that data in at the level of artificial intelligence to be able to then create simulated events and hypotheses on what could happen. That is the value proposition of Palantir. And it makes a lot of sense for why Palantir is working at that point uh, with uh, with a company like Crisis24. Final piece of analysis here is one of the things uh, Stephen Cratier said, which is the CEO of Guard of World. The strategic partnership is a paradigm shift in the delivery of security risk intelligence. It will allow Crisis24 to conquer new frontiers as the most powerful and advanced source of risk intelligence and analytics in the world. When he says we are privileged to partner with Palantir, I mean, you know, you could argue that that's just fluff for the PR, but you're He's making an argument that this is likely a, as they said, a multi-million dollar year-long partnership, which means if this goes well, it serves a precedent for other risk mitigation firms and cyber intelligence firms that are out there to potentially be integrated through Palantir's Foundry. This is like a real piece of technology that's doing some real shit. And it also makes sense for Crisis24 to give them an extension on this deal when this deal is done because of the fact that they're going into this new frontier. The paradigm shift of delivery of security risk intelligence is also interesting. Paradigm is your value, right? Like your paradigm is the things that you value at the end of the day. When he says we're entering a new paradigm shift for delivery of security risk intelligence, it means the way we historically have transmitted and distributed and then ultimately deployed risk intelligence information to our clients is in a new paradigm. It's in a new set of values. We don't do it the same way we used to do it. Now we have we have things at the intersection of AI and technology that actually can innovate on how we deploy that information. And as a result of that, the partnership with Palantir is strategic for this reason to create a new paradigm that allows us to actually deploy this information at a greater scale, greater depth, potentially even greater ROI for our clients, which means they can make decisions even faster. It's obviously a really unique partnership and makes sense given everything that Palantir does. And it sets the precedent for companies in the future to be able to work with Palantir in this exact specific case. Palantir offers a variety of products to financial institutions, specifically around anti-money laundering and uh, KYC, know your customer laws. So that also makes a lot of sense if you're working with a risk mitigation firm to be able to have those products that you can offer and stack them on top of other services like the Foundry operating system. Uh, for them to be able to deploy security risk intelligence. This is unique. You know, I, I've obviously, I know mitigating risk is a part of an institution's job. I did not know, to be quite frank, there are entire consulting firms that are literally built that are probably global $100 million companies just to give this type of advice to their clients to make sure they mitigate risk. But it makes sense, obviously. Um, and now it makes sense that they would be choosing to work with Palantir. So another day, another deal for Palantir. This is the third deal for Palantir in this week. Uh, third contract. Let's see what we have until the rest of the year. Effect on the stock price? Probably not. Laying the foundation for a very, very strong future for Palantir to be able to expand in a lot of different places. I would think so. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one.